Okay, so I'm going to show you how to actually deliver your free ebook to your new subscribers on System.io when they opt in to join your email list. So this tutorial is to show you how to actually deliver your free lead magnet, whether it's an ebook or a checklist or a cheat sheet or a free report or something like that. You can deliver all those types of lead magnets in this same way. Actually, there's three ways and I'm going to show you all of them. Now, just in case you still need to create a lead magnet, then I recommend that you watch this video on my channel, which will show you how to create a professional quality level ebook super fast using AI that will even write the content for you as well as create the cover. And the AI tool that I use in that video will even allow you to create an unlimited number of ebooks. And I've left a link to that video in the description below this video so it's easy for you to find it. Now, let me show you how to actually set up your ebook delivery. So at this point, I'm assuming you've already got your funnel set up with two pages. So you've got your squeeze page or your opt-in page and your thank you page. Now, just to show you the funnel we're working on in this tutorial, it's this one here. So this is the opt-in page where I'm offering the lead magnet and the place to opt in. And on the thank you page is the simple thank you page here with a video and a button. Now, if you've not yet got your funnel set up or you don't know how to set up a funnel, then you can get access to five of my done for you funnel templates for free in the link in the description below this video. And this funnel is one of them that's included. And the other four are similar types of funnels. They all have an opt-in page and a thank you page, but they're in different niches and they have different layouts. So if you want access to those, you can get them for free in the link below this video. So method one to deliver your ebook. So make sure that the squeeze page or the landing page is selected and then come to automation rules. Now here we have to add a rule. So click this button here to add the rule and you choose this first option which says funnel set form subscribed. Click this and then come to this drop down menu on the far right and click on edit automation rule. And now here we need to add an action. So click this button here and the action we're gonna choose is to send an email. And now you'll see this appears here. Click the little plus button. And now here you can write your email that your new subscriber will receive. And here where it says attachments is where you can drop your ebook to upload the ebooks and attachments to this email. Now just bear in mind the attachment limit here is five megabytes. So if your ebook is bigger than five megabytes, then you're going to need to use method two to deliver your ebook. And method two is instead of sending it as an attachment, you're going to send a link in this email for the person to download the ebook. So for example, if I was to write something like, hey, thanks for subscribing, here's your free ebook. And now here I can hyperlink this to a download link for the person to download the ebook. So with this method, you'll need to host the ebook somewhere like Google Docs or Dropbox or OneDrive, something like that. In this case, I've got an ebook in Google Drive. So here's the PDF ebook hosted in Google Drive. So now we need to get the link to share this ebook. So it comes to these little dots to the top right of your ebook and hover over share and then click the share option. And now here you'll see by default, the general access says restricted. So you have to click this little down arrow and check the bottom option here, anyone with the link. And now here, once you share the link, anyone with the link will be able to download it. So now click copy link, come back to your funnel, then hyperlink your text and click this icon here, the link icon and paste your download link in here. And that's it. And then you just click save on the email of course, you need a subject line first. Click save and that's good to go. And then we need to click save rule. So bear in mind with this setup at the moment, now your new subscriber is just going to receive that one email from you at the moment. But I recommend subscribing them to a email follow up series, a campaign. So to do that, you'd come back to the same drop down menu, go to edit automation. And now here we can add another action. And here you can subscribe into a campaign. And now here you have the drop down menu appears and list of all your campaigns will appear here. Now, if you haven't got any campaigns set up and you don't know how to do this step, then I recommend you watch this video here that I'm showing you now on the screen. And in that video, I'll show you how to set up your email campaign and connect it to your funnel. And again, I'll put the link to that video in the description below this video so it's easy for you to find it. Now, personally, method two here by sending the new subscriber the download link in the email is my preferred way of doing this because it then gets your new subscribers to actually start opening your emails. But the third method I'm going to show you now is instead of delivering your ebook this way via email, if you want to give them instant access on your thank you page instead, this is how you do it. So you need to go to the thank you page and then go to edit page. And I'm going to make this button a downloadable link for that person to then download the ebook. So if I just change the text and at the top here where it says action when button clicked from the drop down menu, you need to choose download file. And now here underneath, you have this option to upload the file and you click on this little cloud icon. And here is where you can drag and drop your ebook file. And once you've done that, click Save Changes. 
and this button will then now be live, ready for when your new subscriber clicks the button, they'll instantly download their ebook. Now, if you need help with anything else related to system.io, then you can check out my system.io playlist that's on my channel, and you can see that on the screen right in front of you right now.